Hey everyone, I'm Nick de la Torre with Awaken Catholic and welcome to Awaken the Word. Today we're reading from the first letter to the Corinthians. Now, I would remind you, brothers and sisters, of the good news that I proclaimed to you, which you in turn received, in which also you stand, through which also you are being saved, if you hold firmly to the message that I proclaimed to you, unless you have come to believe in vain. For I handed on to you as of first importance what I in turn had received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve, then he appeared to more than five hundred brothers and sisters at one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have died. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one untimely born, he appeared also to me. I don't know about you, but occasionally I need a reminder when I am experiencing a tendency towards sin, even if it's as simple as allowing myself to get too angry too easily or maybe too annoyed, lacking charity towards others. I myself need a reminder sometimes, like the one that St. Paul is providing to the Corinthians today in, in this passage. I kind of imagine St. Paul standing in front of the Corinthians with his arms crossed saying, now I might remind you, brothers and sisters, of the good news that I proclaimed to you. Because he's kind of got this tone like, I saw what you did, don't forget who we're supposed to be. It's almost like he's shaking his finger at them, especially with the way that he finishes that very long first sentence, unless you have come to believe in vain. And that's a challenge that we all need sometimes. Even if you've lived a relatively good holy life, that doesn't mean that you are exempt from temptation or that you couldn't still drop the ball majorly. The devil is prowling like a roaring lion seeking the ruin of souls, and that includes yours, that includes mine, that includes our spouse, our children, our friends. We need to stand firm in the faith. And that is the encouragement from St. Paul today. Stand firm in the faith. And if you need a reminder, remind yourself. Maybe journal about it. Maybe just reflect on what the reasons are that you came to believe in the first place. And beyond just reasons to believe, recall your need, your personal unique need for mercy, for saving. There's a reason that in every Catholic church, a crucifix is front and center as the focal point. Christ died for our sins, and that is the premise for everything that follows. I have been Nick. This has been Awaken the Word. And before you go, I just need you to know that Jesus loves you. Peace. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Word.